Hi everyone, this is Senor Alberto TV. And our topic for the day will be arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. So what is arithmetic sequence? Arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term is formed by adding a fixed number to find the preceding term. So what do we mean by fixed number? A fixed number, or what we may call the difference, is by subtracting the second term and the first term. So, let me give an example of the sequence. So, here is an example of a sequence. So, it says that to find the difference or the fixed number, we need to subtract the second term and the first term. So, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Yay! <laughs> you got the correct answer. Okay, since we found the, the difference, what do you think is the next term? Of course, 10. But we need to use a formula. So here is our formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times b. Since we already have four terms, we are to find the fifth term. So we can put here the fifth term. There it is. So, we just have a substitute. A sub n is the a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 is the first term, which is 2, plus n is the position of the term we're finding. So since we're finding the fifth term, our n will be 5. Minus 1. Then remember our difference, it is 2. So, we then just have to simplify. A sub 5 is equal to 2 plus 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Then, 2. A sub 5 is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And last, is equal to 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. So our fifth term is 10. Another example. For example, we need to find the 21st term. Okay. Oh. Again, we just have to use our formula. So we have to find the 21st term. So A sub 21 is equal to our first term, A sub 1, which is 2, plus, what do you think is our N? Yes, you got it right, 21. <laughs> Remember that N is the position of the term we're finding. Minus 1, then our B, is 2. There's a difference. So 4, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So simplify. Equal to 2 plus 21 minus 1 is equal to 20. Then bring down 2. Then simplify again. 2 plus 20 times 2 is equal to 40. Then lastly, 2 plus 40 is equal to 42. So our 21st term is equal to 42. And that is all for our arithmetic sequence. Yes. So how can we apply arithmetic sequence in real life situations? So in example, Kurt is saving money for summer vacation. Each week, he plans to save 10 pesos more than the previous week. He starts by saving 20 pesos in the first week. So how much money will Kurt save in the seventh week? So, how do we start this? Remember, our formula for arithmetic sequence is a sub 1 is equal to wait, a sub n Sorry, sorry. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus 
n minus 1 times b. So, our given is up n no, is up 1 is equal to 20 our difference is equal to 10. So, we have to find the 7 peak. So, x sub 7 is equal to our first term, 20, plus, what do you think is our end? Of course, 7, because we are finding the 7 peak. So, 7 minus 1 in our difference is 10. So, a sub 7 is equal to 20 plus 7 minus 1 is equal to 60 or, I mean 6 times 10. If I again, a sub 7 is equal to 20 plus 6 times 10 is equal to 60. The last a sub 7 is equal to 20 plus 60 is equal to 80. Therefore, on the seventh week, Kurt will be able to save 80 pesos. Hi everybody, so now we will learn about geometric sequence. So what is the difference of geometric sequence and arithmetic sequence? So remember that arithmetic sequence is adding a fixed number to find the preceding terms. So in geometric sequence, we multiply a fixed number to find the preceding terms. Okay. Wait. I'm writing it. So you can take down notes. the terms so our formula for geometric sequence will be a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r is to n minus 1 so what is r r is equal to the fixed number so we can call that fixed number as as our common ratio if if the arithmetic sequence has common difference then geometric sequence has common ratio there so to find r r is equal to a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. So, in arithmetic sequence, to find the common difference, it's, e it's equal to uh, a sub 2 minus a sub 1. So, our example, it can be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. So, how can we uh, find the common ratio? So, from the formula, it says a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. So, 4 divided by 2, where 4 is our second term, or a sub 2, then 2 is our a sub 1. So, it will be equal to 2. 
So 2 is our R. So now we can substitute. Since we already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, let's try to find the 6 term. So A sub 6 is equal to our first term as 2. Our R as 2. Then our N is 6 because we are finding the 6th term minus 1. Simplify. A sub 6 is equal to 2 times 2. Then 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. A sub 6 is equal to 2. Then 2 raised to 5 is equal to let's C. 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2 equal to 8 times 2 so 1, 2, 3, 4 that's for already 16 times 2 is equal to uh, sorry uh, 32 so 2 raised to 5 is equal to 32 then 2 times 32 is equal to 64 therefore our a sub 6 will be 64 so that's it so that is geometric sequence so how can we apply geometric sequence in real life situations so here is an example of a real life situation certain bacterial culture triples in number every two hours Four bacteria was placed on the petri dish at 6 a.m. At what time will the petri dish be filled with 2,916 bacteria? So remember that our formula for geometric sequence is equal to a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So our a sub n will be 2916 is equal to our first term uh, 4 our common ratio as 3 our common ratio is 3 because it says triples so it's times 3 then n minus 1 so our first objective here is to find n so 2916 is equal to 4 times 3 is to n minus 1. So we can cancel this by dividing 4. We cancel 4 now. So 2916 divided by 4 is equal to 729 is equal to 3 n minus 1 so we can simplify 729 to 3 raised to 6 so both of the uh, both sides will be in exponential form so now we can focus on the exponents 6 is equal to n minus 1 to isolate n, we need to add 1 to both sides. So, plus 1, plus 1. So, 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. So, our n is equal to 7. So, we can just substitute it. So, remember that our a sub 1, a sub 1 is equal to 6 a.m., Focus on the time here. A sub 2 is equal to because of 2 hours, so uh, 8 a.m. A sub 3 is equal to uh, A sub 3 is equal to 10 a.m. A sub 4 is equal to 12 p.m. A sub 5 is equal to 
टू पी एम सब सिक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर पी एम ए सब सेवन दैट्स आवर एन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पी एम सो वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट सेवन टू आवर फॉर्मूला नाउ सो ए सब सेवन इज इक्वल टू आवर फर्स्ट टर्म फोर then our common ratio is 3 raised to 7 minus 1 so a sub 7 is equal to 4 times 3 then 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 so 3 raised to 6 is equal to 729 Then, lastly, 4 times 729 is equal to 2916. So, therefore, um, uh, the bacteria will reach 2916 by 6 p.m. So, that is all, everyone. Bye-bye. Kita, kit mo pag nagagalit ka